guys, today I'm going to talk about Modern Masters and these are around 200 bucks on Dave and Adams and they have a ton of them. They actually have so many of them that it's ridiculous. My local store has them for um, $215. Uh, so this one we're going to crack open for Dan later today. Uh, it's a great investment to be honest. Like I think it is very strong. Um, assuming Eye of Ugin is not banned. Eye of Ugin in this is a rare. Like, not a mythic. And then the Adrazi Temple is a uncommon. So you're looking at cards that, you're looking at uncommon, it's five or six dollars. Um, then you got, I think, Path to Exile is in here. Uh, you have a lot of really valuable things um, in this box. Uh, Tamagoy, uh, Bob, Vendillion Click is not doing so hot. Twin was obviously banned. But I, I like the box itself. I think the box itself, opening these are not for $200. The expected value does pay for the $200 and that's incredible for a product. Uh, typically, when you have older product, the box value, so if you look at um, a box of uh, original Zenda cards, probably like $400, $500, you're not gonna get that. Like you pull and foil Misty Rainforest, you're still not at the initial investment. And that's like the best possibility. Here, there's plenty of cards that you can pull um, because that's like 24, essentially has 48 cards that make a difference. It has all the 24 foils and some foil uncommons, like a foil Adrazi Temple, I don't, a foil Path to Exile, um, who knows what else is in, like I forget, like, but there's some foil commons and uncommons that are worth a little bit and then obviously the rares, the Ive Ugin foil is pretty good. Uh, Cryptic Command is a rare in the set, which I don't know, think it's that great, but it is still worth money. Um, you have a ton of things that you want to pull out of this set and foil. Then you have the 24, no, not the rares or mythics, and they just add up a lot of value. So we'll see how it does today. Like, I don't know, like, honestly, like, this type of, um, box is a you're going to either break even do extremely well or do extremely poor i think with the spike on eye of Ugin, the spike on the adrazi temple and the fact that we're moving into modern season 200 dollars is definitely a great price to be opening them um, i'm considering whether or not i should go in and get some more um, it, it's interesting because typically i would not want to keep open i'm not a fan of opening stuff um, I'm just not like I'm more a fan of buying someone's collection or selling someone's collection, but not of like getting boxes to open. But the expected value on this is actually getting to the point where you might be able to make money opening these boxes at 200. Because um, when modern season comes and it's coming, it's actually it's already here, uh, and it goes until summer. The cards here are going to just skyrocket in price. Like who knows? Like I mean, if you. When we first did the, um, if you watch Tiffany's video, uh, she actually opens, a, I believe, a regular Ivergen and a foil Ivergen, and she doesn't even think anything of it because at that time it was nothing. Like, it wasn't worth any money. But this now has spiked. And there will be other random stuff that will spike. Uh, Noble High Arc. Yeah, I was like, hey, this is something that I really need from this set. <laughs> Noble High Arc. Steven, I need your Noble High Arcs. Um, so Steven is my friend. I think he's going to take a break a little bit and I'll be able to get his Noble High Arcs. Bye guys.